Russell. This is Dennis and the Warrior from 96.3 KKL Z here in Las Vegas. How are you, sir? Hi. Can you hear us? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can now. Okay, uh, welcome to Dennis and the Warrior. We're talking to you in jolly old England. In jolly old England, yeah. Hopefully we'll get the, uh, the conversation done before you go over the hill into town and lose the cellular system. <laughs> Uh, we uh, understand that the Who have been in the studio working on new stuff. How much can you tell us? Ah, uh, not exactly in the studio. We've been in a rehearsal room working on new stuff. But uh, yeah, we've been trying to like find around a few new songs. Um, yeah, obviously the new tension is that when we finish touring, uh, we can try and go in the studio and do some recordings. So. Yeah, Pete has had mixed signals about that um, as to whether um, you know he, he says he, he wants to do some new stuff, but he's not so sure that uh, that it would uh, result in any kind of album that you could get behind. Um, it really, really depends on what the material's like. I mean, I know Roger is bringing stuff that's different from Pete, and I'll be bringing stuff that's completely different from both of them. So. Uh, basically, if we could agree on our direction. Cause well, that's what The Who has been about for so many years. Uh, yeah, what, what, agree, yeah. Why are you kicking off the tour in Las Vegas? Is there any special reason? I mean, we know we're the, we're the greatest town around, but uh, why Las Vegas to start the tour? Um, I'm not really sure. Um, I mean, it's not because I've got the art show. I mean, uh, um, basically, you fit the art shows around the tour. Nice coincidence, yeah. Uh, I've got no idea. I, I think the it, it, Vegas thing uh, came with a bunch of L.A. gigs. And uh, San Francisco, so we figured, well, let's start start there. I mean, it's, it's whatever. You, know, you, you start to get up in the end. You order, they fall down, and you pick them. John Antwistle, the warrior here. How are you? Uh, what you worried about? Are you listening to any new music? And if so, what is it? I might basically listen to whatever my whatever my girlfriend finds. You know, oh, your girlfriend? Right? She finds different bands and sort of plays them to me. And uh, I say, yeah, put that one on by that other. That, that, you know, I sort of like sort of fumbles and, you know, you know, put that one on the go, did it, did it, did it. You know, she'll put it on for me. But I, I don't listen. I, I try not to listen to music because it, it interferes with if you're going to try and write songs, you can't write someone else's song. Uh, yeah, that's, that's true. very true. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, you have a quite a vast collection of bass guitars uh, at the house there. What? Um, you see the one I've got on stage at the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Like, what's your favorite yeah, beer? I'm, the one I'm drinking. My collection is uh, guitars. You know. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've got, I've got something like 10 Fender Jazz basses and about 20 Precisions and a whole bunch of stuff I've used on stage. But um, most, of, most of the expensive guitars in the collection are um, you know, old Gibsons and you know, Strats and stuff. Well, uh, part of the uh, deal with you being here next week with the Who opening their tour, you're going to display some of your artwork over at the uh, Aladdin at the Desert Passage and at the Hard Rock Cafe. What uh, motive? Well, well, what motivates you to do art, and what's it about? Um, 